Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's Power Move, we're gonna talk about the Compare Geometry feature in SolidWorks. Now, this feature is extremely useful because it allows us to open two very similar, but slightly different part files and determine exactly what the differences are between these two part files. And this is a topic that we cover in my training class called Toby's SW Tips and Tricks. So if you wanna learn some more great time-saving efficiency tips and tricks in the world of SolidWorks, be sure to visit us at twotalltoby.com slash training and you can sign up for an upcoming class. All right, let's get into it here and open up these two very similar part files in SolidWorks and figure out where the differences are. So for today's example, we're gonna take a look at this part here, the 23-12-05 sink weight. And you can see that I've got two different versions of this part. One of these is correct. This green one here is correct. It's coming up with the correct mass here of 117 grams. The other one is incorrect. This is one that I modeled last week during a live tutorial, live solve tutorial. And when I got done, it turned out that the mass came out to about 119 grams when it should be 117. Now we can see here that the models were created a little bit differently as far as the feature tree is concerned. But that really shouldn't matter. As long as the geometry is the same, they should come up with the same mass. And yet they're coming up about two grams different. So the question is, what is the difference in the geometry of these two parts? And to answer that question, we're gonna launch a command called tools compare geometry. This is a really handy tool in SolidWorks because what it lets us do is choose a reference document. Like I'll choose the uh, 2015 version. This is the incorrect version. And I'll choose a modified document. This will be the 2020 version, which is correct. And I can choose run comparison. Now SolidWorks will match up the origins of those two parts and lay them right on top of one another so that we can see the differences between those two parts. The problem here is that these two parts are oriented 90 degrees off from one another. So this comparison really isn't gonna work. So now we have to dive into a different tool. And this is another tool that we talk about in the training class, particularly when you're importing models and they're not oriented the correct way. And this tool is what's known as insert features move copy. See the command insert features move copy lets you pick a body and then move that body relative to the rest of the model, including the origin. And this can be really handy when you import a model and it's, it's oriented 90 degrees off or it's the, the origin is in the corner and you want the origin to be right at the center of the part. Insert features move copy is a great tool to use to accomplish that. Now, in the case of this model here, it's not that it needs to move relative to the origin. It's just that it needs to rotate by 90 degrees. So to help out with that process, I'm gonna start out by selecting the front plane and the right plane and then launching the command insert reference geometry axis, because now I've got an axis that I can select to facilitate that rotation of 90 degrees. So now I'm gonna go to the command insert features move copy. And by the way, when you're in the move copy command, there's two different interfaces. You can toggle them by clicking this button down here at the bottom. One of them looks like it has a bunch of meets on it, like coincident and parallel and perpendicular. That's not the one that you want for today's example. We wanna click on this button at the bottom and we want the one that says translate and that says rotate. Then up at the top here, we're gonna pick the body to move. So it'll be this body here. And then we're gonna pick rotate. And then here we can choose a, a reference to rotate about. In this case, we're gonna pick the axis. So we pick this axis here and we'll say we wanna rotate that by 90 degrees. So we hit the green check mark. And now if we do a window tile vertically, we can see that both of these parts are now oriented the same way. So now we're in the perfect spot to launch the command tools, compare geometry. Now, once again, we're gonna choose our reference document. This will be the uh, incorrect one. The 2015 version is incorrect. We'll choose the modified version, which is the correct one, the 2020 version, and we'll choose run comparison. And this time we get a much more useful report because we can click up here where it says material to remove and SolidWorks identifies that it's kind of this region here where it's chamfered down that is the problem. We can choose material to add and down in this lower version of the model, we can see that again, it's confirming that it's this area down here where there's a kind of a mismatch in the material. And we can also choose common volume. And what common volume will do is it'll just show us kind of the areas that are the same, that are overlapping in the two models. Not as useful for today's application, but good to know that you can do that. 
So I think what we've done is we've identified the area where the problem is, or at least the area where the mismatch is. Now you wanna remember with the compare command to always hit the X here when you're done. If you leave this, this uh, window open over on the task pane, it can be problematic. So I hit the red X here to close that compare utility. Now I'm gonna go to the 2015 version. I'm gonna roll back in the tree and I'm gonna examine this sketch here where that chamfer is. And uh, we can see here, if we look at the drawing, that that dimension is supposed to be 19 millimeters. So let's examine that sketch and, yep, I think we found what the problem is. So we're gonna change this now from 17 to 19. We're gonna exit that sketch. We're gonna roll forward in the tree here and we're gonna do a final control Q to update our sensor and boom. 117 grams and now both of our models are matching up and we are coming up with the correct answer so i hope you enjoyed that little quick tip that little power move to help you understand how you can take two models lay them on top of each other and let solidworks tell you what the difference is in the geometry of those two models if you did enjoy this power move be sure to like be sure to subscribe leave me a comment down below let me know what you thought about this video and maybe some places where you could use the compare geometry command and of course if you like my style of teaching be sure to go to twotalltoby.com training where you can sign up for an upcoming two tall toby training class i'll see everybody in the next video